Good morning, everyone. It's Amy with Mama Bear Blue. Welcome. Uh, we are going to work on a really fun little project where I get to show you guys um, a fun painting technique that I did this weekend that I actually learned um, from Dion of the Turquoise Iris and Debbie of Debbie's Design Diary. And when they're using all their beautiful colors and blending, and we're going to use an IOD roller and show you how to create this fun, funky boho look you can use on your furniture or your small projects. Let's. All right. So, if you were saw my Facebook page this weekend, I worked on this little thrifted stool. Let's mute that. And. It's super well made and sturdy, and I was able to put on um, a coat of, um, I'm sorry, decoupage paper on the top called Ma the Made by Marley Magic Decoupage Paper. Look how fun and boho that is. And that's been covered with some, oh gosh, wax and some metallic stenciling with a JRV stencil. And then the side looks all fun and chippy and boho with lots of color. It's my favorite style. I love this. So I thought I'd kind of show you guys how I got that, only we're going to use a small tote because I have uncovered about 10 totes in my hoard as I've been cleaning out. So this was one of them. It was actually one I salt washed a couple years ago. Um, and then I painted over it with some light blues and it's okay, but you know, I don't know. It reminds me a little bit of the sponge painting from the 80s. <laughs> But it's, it's all right, but I thought this would be the perfect tote to do this on. It's the right size, and you can tran you can do the same technique on your furniture pieces. Okay, so last night I put one side of this, I got the decoupage paper on, and this is the Made by Marley Magic Decoupage Paper, and this style was called I'm Not Shy. And the Made by Marley papers, they come with three to a pack, and they're about, about 11 by 17-ish, each one. And they're a little thicker than your normal decoupage paper. They're more like a newsprint thickness than a tissue paper thickness. So I really love working with them. Um, there seems to be way less wrinkles um, in the styles that um, made that, that they have made are super boho and colorful. So if you don't follow Made by Marley, you should do that because she is a lot of fun with the stuff she makes. So, so it's perfect for going on your small projects and furniture. So I did that side. I saved the other side to do with you guys. So this is just the other half of the paper that's on here. And that's what we're going to do. Okay. Let me set that aside and we'll talk through how to work with Made by Marley paper. Regular Mod Podge is thicker and um, usually we use our DIY liquid patina when we're using our other decoupage papers that are a little thinner. So what I want to do, turn this over. This is dried, did this last night. The inside is a little wet because I put a coat of Hay Sailor. It's kind of a royal blue navy that DIY makes. And by the way, all the products I'm using here today, you guys can find on my website, uh, mamabearblue.com. All right, so what we need to do first is, um, <laughs> my dogs are over there. Brew and Waylon are over there making some noise. Okay. So she recommends that you tear instead of cut, so you kind of have kind of a jaggedy, kind of organic edge because it just lays down a little better. So all I'm doing is just kind of tearing where I want, and each piece comes with a little bit of a like, you know, a, an extra white salvage edge, so you, you will need to pull those off anyway. So I'm going to pull those off. Okay, I'm actually going to turn it towards you. I think maybe you can see it a little better. Um, let's get started on the decoupaging. So like I said, we're using Mod Podge and we're going to put a nice layer on. Um, I was watching one of, one of Lel's videos, made by Marley videos, on YouTube this weekend and she was saying the number one reason you get wrinkles in, your, in this decoupage paper is because you don't have enough or you've missed a spot of the Mod Podge <clears throat> where you should have Mod Podge. So we just want to make sure it's thoroughly coated, not super, super thick, but just that every part of that surface has some on it. You can put it on there and you have a little bit of working time to wiggle it around where you want it if you need to. And just like my other decoupage papers, I start in the center and just smooth it down. I 
just go around and check my edges and make sure that I've got enough on there so that they're laying down. This edge looks pretty good. I'm actually going to take some sandpaper here in a little bit and sand this bottom edge off probably. But that's good and you can already tell there's hardly any wrinkles and I haven't put the seal coat on top yet. After you've got it on there, you're just going to apply a coat of the Mod Podge to seal it on. Okay, so that is done. I'm going to tear off, I always put these in cling wrap or a baggie so I can wash them up. Um, tear off this top. You guys can see it's kind of flopped but under the side. So let me just, again, it doesn't have to be a perfect cut or tear because this is getting, all the edges are getting painted over. This is still wet, so let me think. My next step would be to start painting this the royal blue, this Hey Sailor, in, um, which is this color from DIY Paint. It's kind of a, between a royal blue and a navy. Not super dark navy though. I'm just going to um, first get some blue on here and then I'll probably get some of these colors and kind of blend into it. I just kind of press and let those bristles kind of get right up to the paper. This is the little D brush. Again, this is Hey Sailor DIY paint. It's a clay based paint. Let's get the heat gun on this. So I've already, I'll show you guys what I do. This one's ready to go. Um, I like press and seal, not just the cling wrap. Press and seal, I, it just seems easier to use. So I just pull out a little bit and tear it off. Maybe, there we go, okay. Let me set that aside and show you guys how I, where am I gonna put this? Let's set this here. So then I just lay this down and I take my brayer and I just start on one end and I roll it right up. So then I have it on there and it's covered and it's got texture to it and we're gonna use this, dip it in our paints and get it rolling on tote. We have Liquid Sunshine, Orange Crush, no, not Orange Crush, Summer Crush, uh, Carnival Red, and that's my Hey Sailor for the four. But I think, you know what, I really need some kissing booth because this paper has just way too much pretty pink. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of dip it in these paints. And I just wanna add a kissing booth on there. Offload just a little and I have something that looks like that. Over. Let's see if you guys can see it okay. And after a while, this gets a little gloppy and I just change out the um, cling wrap. See that? This is, I love this color so much. You know what? Uh, another color that might be good to do, I'm not going to do it, but Boho Blue would be another one. It would be pretty on this, I think.
I may go back in and paint another coat of navy blue on the inside of this and even out the lines and stuff as far as the edges, but I'm not going to do that during this, I don't think. So I kind of prefer wet distressing. I'm just going to see what I can get. Let's do, let's do this side a little bit. I'm going to show you up close what we're going to, and you don't, you kind of just want to be random about it and you don't even have to do this step. If you're happy with how that looks, this is just giving it kind of more, a little more texture and getting down this, if I press hard enough, I'm going to go down to that salt wash layer mermaid tail that's actually in underneath all that right there down to the mermaid tail level. So this thing has lots of coats of paint on it. And if you feel like your rag gets too, if it gets too dirty fast, switch rags because all that's going to do is muddy up your paint. I really like that wet distress. Let me try sandpaper on the other side. That's a little too mustardy there for me. Get that off. Edges are always great to do this on where you have natural wear and stuff on your projects. Just this little sanding sponge. I got a big pack of them from Amazon. It's a fine grit. It's not. Notice when I sand, it seems to, it might just be because of the flakes. That's all it is. The sanding dust makes the other colors get look mud, like muddled. Am I shaking the whole camera? But when you kind of wipe it off, they go away. So don't be afraid to just try new, try new things and get a small project like this and try different techniques on it. See if you like it. Let's see if we can get down to that mermaid tail layer. <laughs> Lot of color a lot going on so if color's not your thing <laughs> this may not be the project right I wonder if you could just do a bunch of neutrals and get a nice uh, blend of neutrals uh, stop now gonna stop okay let's get some clear wax on this so you guys can see how pretty it's gonna be This is a, always the magic step for me. I love it when this clear wax goes on this DIY paint. It just gets all that vibrant and starts to pop back out. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm even gonna go ahead and wax over this paper. Because I'm putting gold wax on everything, I want this clear wax layer on first. It's going to make it easier for me to control my colored wax. Oh, you know what else? Oh, I forgot what else. One other step I did on the stool that we'll need to do on this. So it'll be clear wax, shipwreck wax, and which is the turquoise from DIY Paint, and then some gold. Gold, gold will probably be more like accent. Again, this is going to dry and not be quite so dark or quite so streaky. Okay, let's get on with the uh, golden rule. And I think I could use a rag to apply this in just spots. I could take a brush and brush it all on and wipe it off. I think I'm just going to try using a rag. So put it on and then kind of buff it in and wipe and the extra will come out. It just gives it a really pretty shimmer. I feel like I do need to go over the decoupage paper with it too. <laughs> All right, switching to stencil brush. Remember that the golden rule wax is gold, so it kind of has a tinge of yellow to it. So when you're putting it over blues, it's going to make those blues look just a tiny bit more green. Not bad, but just something to keep in mind. So this is the DIY paint dark wax. This just looks old and worn and fun and colorful. It just gives it like a tiny pop of depth, honestly. That's what it does. I 
And because that clear wax is on there, I don't have to freak out that it's gonna uh, be too much and not be able to come off because that's it won't do that. And if you have any little wrinkles at all, I hardly have any in this, but it's set down to this edge. These the dark wax will get in those, and it looks really. Ooh, that was mermaid tail. I mean, <laughs> shipwrecked. A lot of fun. A lot of color. A lot of fun. I really love how it went. Sandpaper took it way down. So you could paint up your totes and layers and layers of color and then roll on some. And it creates a lot of texture. I need to paint the bottom and get the price tag off. Okay, thanks for joining me guys. I will see you maybe next week, but definitely in two weeks. Thanks for joining. Bye.